Alright, so I've been having some problems sending data from my Android device to the embedded processor on this guy. Um, you know, and it turns out it's due to endianness, which is uh, the order that bytes are read into registers and things like that. So, least significant bit first or, or most significant bit first. Um, but I actually just wanted to make this video to kind of show off the, the amount of debugging I went through to figure out this problem. Uh, so it started, again, I was trying to send uh, actually two values. I was trying to send the accelerometer values from this guy uh, over, over UDP to my device. So I sent them out, and this guy was getting all sorts of wrong values, and the poor servos were, were grinding and stuff. I was like, oh my god, what's going on? So the first thing I did is actually I found a legitimate use for ARP cache poisoning. Um, so I rerouted all the traffic that was going from my Android device to my embedded device uh, through this machine so that I could look at the packets. So here's um, a listing of the packets. And if you look at the most recent one, here's some of the data I've been sending. So I send, uh, I send the character R followed by my two short values. So here's the character R and then one short value and then two short, the second short value. So I wanted to make sure that my device was sending out the right value. So that's how I did that. So I just checked the data over the network. So that uh, means sending out the device uh, and then rerouting the traffic and viewing it in a packet sniffer. And then I wanted to make sure that my uh, embedded device was reading it right. So I got into the uh, in-circuit debugging here. And here we uh, we get uh, a switch case, and then if it's the R, like I just showed you, so you get the R, and then the two shorts, so I get R, and then I'm going to get an array of two, and then an array of two, and I'm going to send it to my servos. So, <laughs> if you come down here, you'll notice it reads uh, correctly, actually, now, because after I fixed it, it reads zero, uh, zero C70, zero two five D. And again, that's the same thing in hex, and you can see the decimal representation and, and binary and everything. But if you look, okay, so let's see, 0C70 is the first number it reports. But over here, it's represented as 700C. 0C70, so it's it's flopped. So that's where the trick came in, and that's why uh, it wasn't working. I had to go back into my uh, Java code and in my code, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. So I have an integer to byte array blurb here, and I had to change it to byte order to little endian. Um, you know, and that just took a while to figure out, but it is working now, and I just wanted to show off all these different steps I had to go through to finally figure out um, what was going on in between. Anyway, 